Hi, this is Teresa from Mighty Meow Meows, and I just wanted to do a quick video about some of the books that we've been reading for our school week. So, um, one of the books that Andy read was this, I Will Help, it's like a Bible reader, about the good, this one's about the Good Samaritan. So, he didn't have any problems reading this. He prefers to read Bible stories and any other story. He kind of feels like all the other stories, there's no reason to even read, but, oh well, he has to read them. And then the funny thing was Sarah had picked up the book and was pretending to read it. And she was like, blah, 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 Sarah, blah, 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 Sarah. And apparently making up a story about herself. And then she saw the donkey on the back and she said, oh, kitty cat. So that was pretty cute. Um, today, Andy tried a fly guy, this fly guy book. And uh, it was kind of hard for him. There was a lot of words that he needed me to help. With, so we will probably put these aside until next year or so. But, I mean, he, he kind of liked it, but I ended up reading most of the book to him. He read this Berenstein Bears Catch the Bus book, which he acted like he was like dying while he read it. But he was able to read almost all of this without any help. And um, it also talked about telling time, too. So I thought it was like a good thing because it covered two bases, but he hated it. Um, we read The Adventures of Peter Cottontail. We're still working our way through this. This is the second to last Thornton Burgess book that we have. And then we'll be done with the Thornton Burgess books. And then we'll be moving on to books that have movies also. And we'll read the book and then we'll watch the movie. So that should be fun. And we're still working on our Plymouth Pioneers because we lost it for a couple days. And Bella just found it today. So we're just about done with this. This is number two in the American Adventure books. We got some of these books from the library. This book is from the library called No Two Alike by Keith Baker. And it was a cute book, except it was very childish. It was very babyish. Yeah. So the kids didn't really like it. They thought it was kind of silly. But it was a cute book. If I read it to Sarah, maybe she would like that. This book called Owl Sees Owl... It's by Laura Godwin and Rob Dunleavy, and they didn't like it at all. They were like, ah, it's too babyish, but I love the illustrations in it. They're so pretty. Well, the pictures are pretty. It's just the words. Yeah, it was a very, very pretty book, but it is very simple, maybe intended for smaller kids. We read Pete the Cat, Big Easter Adventure, which they liked this, and Pete the Cat ends up having to be the Easter Bunny, so... They like the Pete the Cat books. And, and this was a highlight of the, this was a highlight of the, our library visit was Guess What is Growing Inside This Egg by Mia Posada. Both of the kids really liked this and there was a lot of information in it. So <clears throat> it will show a picture of an egg and ask if you can guess what it is. It gives you a couple like um, clues and poems in a poem form. And then it will tell you what the, what is in the egg, and it will give you a lot of information about it. So here, can you find what is in these eggs, and it talks about what they are. And it gives you a little clue, because you see an alligator tail. And then on the next page, you see the alligator with the babies, and a lot of information. So this was a really, really cool book. The pictures were great, and um, the kids really liked it. They immediately wanted to read it again. So that was just a couple of things of what we read, and Bella's going to talk about the book that she's reading. Which I love because it is about three cute kittens, and I love kittens. And so what is it called? It's called Nine Lives. Here, show it. I think that's what it's called. So what is it about? Uh, it actually shows on the back of what happens in this story. It's about... Three kittens. This one's Ginger. I actually guessed all their names on the front, then looked at the back in it like I was actually right. So this one's Ginger, that one's Nutmeg, and that one's Clove. Okay. And I only know what, like, so far what's happened on Ginger, so I'm just going to read the back on what it's about. So Ginger, um, he likes his home, and... He might be too much of a handful because he was, like, just born. He's really big, and he, like, gets in a lot of trouble. And then Nutmeg is really bad, too. And they don't know how to keep her out of 
um, trouble, but I think they get to keep her because it says they teach her a lesson. And then Clove isn't very happy in her new home and won't eat the cat food, but then the most unexpected person comes up with the answer. Oh. Bella so, loves books about cats. I and love she, that book especially. And she and her friend Anna will sometimes trade books too. And um Like I just read like a really nice book about friend Kitty and Puppy. Yeah. And you've loaned her some of your fairy books. Yeah. She so. just gave my fairy book that I let her borrow back. So we hope you like our video and we hope maybe it gave you some ideas. Like I said, I think our favorite book was the What is Growing Inside This Egg book. Yeah. It was pretty cool by me and Posada. So we hope you like our video and the baby is screaming our head off. So <laughs> we're going to close it for now. And, and we're going to go to a library. So please like and subscribe to our channel. Bye. Thanks. Bye.